Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. I bought something new to play with and it has something to do with ham radio and with shortwave transceivers and with audio processing. So let's have a look what's inside this box. Stay tuned. Inside this box is a 12 band equalizer with noise gate and compressor and echo made by Serhi, United Radio 6 Quebec Whiskey. His German call sign is Delta Bravo 6 Quebec Whiskey. He also uh, is running a website which is ssbhifi.com. I will link it down in the description. A little note, I will do the unboxing in English, but later I will do the review in German, as I promised to Serhi. He is also running a YouTube channel where he describes uh, his products. Uh, just search for United Radio 6 Quebec Whiskey on YouTube and I will link his channel also down in the description. Let's have a look what's inside this box. I have it now for about you know, three weeks or so. I also met uh, Serhi in Friedrichshafen, but I have never opened it till now because I wanted to do this unboxing video. And let's have a look. It's the equalizer version V8, the 12 band equalizer. Okay, we will have a look. Uh, at this uh, user guide a little bit later on and here is a USB cable and some packing material oops let me put this to the side and let's have a look what's inside this uh, plastic wrap. Here is an adapter. If you have a radio with this round microphone connector, it's hard to see right now, uh, then you can use this adapter. And well, it's very good, very good packaging. And here is the equalizer. Here we go. Let me zoom in a little bit, and then you have a better view. So here is the equalizer, made by United Radio 6 Quebec Whiskey and United X34 Lima Alpha. It's a 12-band equalizer with compressor, noise gate, echo, uh, Roger beep, and hi-fi recording, so you can record your audio. Now at the top you have this nice 5 inch LCD display. Uh, there's a dial which is also a push button. On the front you have a plug for a microphone and a monitor, or for example headphones where you can monitor your audio. There's another microphone input um, here you can turn on the 48 volt uh, phantom power for some microphones. Here is the uh, microphone input. And on the back you have, let me turn it around, it's better. Uh, yeah, there is the power button on off. There is a plug for a PTT switch. There is a USB B port, so the whole thing is powered by USB, and there is a microphone in, uh, an XLR microphone in. On the back of your radio you ha also have this cable with an RJ45 connector which goes to your, let's say, FTDX10, FT710, I don't know, FT891. Uh, if you have a bigger radio with an 8-pin uh, round microphone connector, you can use this adapter 
Then the RJ45 goes in here and this goes into your radio. On the front you have the 8-pin microphone connector as well. So if you are using, let's say, a stock handheld microphone, you can use this adapter for your... Uh, do I have a microphone here? Yeah, here is the original uh, handheld microphone uh, by Yezo. That's for my FTDX10. And you can plug this into here. On the other hand, if you have a desktop microphone like this MD200, which has, uh, for example, a round pin, uh, eight um, round connector, eight pin round connector, you can plug this into your equalizer like so. Of course, on many of these desktop microphones, you can simply turn the cable around by unplugging the RJ45 on this side, plug the round microphone connector in and use this one. For example, if I want to connect this microphone to my FTDX10, I have to turn it around. Long story short, I have talked enough, I guess. Let's... Uh, Grab the USB cable and plug it in and fire this thing up. Okay, therefore I need USB power. I hope my tiny little USB hub is providing enough power. And then let's plug this side into the equalizer and Let's fire it up. Okay, you want to see this one more time? I turn it off again. Okay, push and hold the button. Let me zoom in to give you a better view. Okay, that's my maximum zoom level. And then I fire it up again. Okay, push and hold. I have to point something out. The colors are not accurate here. Maybe it's the white balance because of uh, all the LED lights I have around here. Uh, I can show you the difference. Here is the manual. And this is more or less how uh, the blue looks like and the green looks like. So totally different than what you can see here uh, live on camera so this is uh, i would say more accurate um, sorry about that i've plugged in my studio microphone so you see a little bit more action on screen if i press the ptd you have this indicator up here that i am transmitting up here you can see the frequency response and here's the equalizer you can cycle through it with the left and right buttons and then you can crank it up or down then um, here you have the uh, compressor level i cannot tell you everything right now because i i, st I also have to learn everything here's the uh, microphone level uh, down here you can select the input so that's the xlr and now I'm back on the front input. Uh, I can turn on a microphone boost. Uh, that's 10 dB. Can I crank it up more? No, that's a 10 dB boost. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And I can also change the gain down here. Now that's 20 dB. That's 0 dB. 1, 2, 3, 4. And let's go up to 40 dB. 1, 2, 3, 4 test. I cannot tell you now what uh, this phase uh, does mean. There is, there are stages. Can I change it? There are six, seven. How many stages do we have here? Thirty-two stages. I don't know. And you can turn it off as well. I'm sorry. 
I will tell you what this uh, means in my next video. Then you can change the frequency here for the stages, I guess. Let's go back to 300 again. Uh, then um, you have the recorder. You can record, play, and you can repeat. Um, there you have the levels for the noise gate, for example. So if I am quiet, you still can see a little bit of noise is coming through. But if I turn the noise gate on, let's say, it should be quiet. One, two, three, four. Well, you have to find the sweet spot for your environment. And the sweet spot is maybe around 55 dB or so, maybe maybe 60 dB. Yeah, around 60 dB to 55 dB. This is uh, the same uh, level I'm using in OBS uh, for my microphone. So that's, that's okay. One, two, three, four. And now you can see there is no noise, no background noise. If I stop talking, let's turn it off again. Then you have the compressor. You have the drive level of the microphone, so that's the, the output level to the radio. And you can set the monitor level. And let's go to the right hand side. You can set the echo if you want to use it on CP, for example. Uh, it's a nice gimmick. You have the echo, you can turn it on or off. Uh, set the time and or the delay and set the depth and you can turn the roger beep on or off you can change the roger beep tone and you can bypass the equalizer and you can turn dx on and off so according to the uh, manual uh, if you switch it uh, to DX mode, everything is a little bit more aggressive, let's say. And at the bottom, you can set three presets. I forgot to show you, there is also this little stylus inside the box, uh, together with the USB cable. So that's, that's very convenient, of course. Okay, um, my next... Uh, um, task is to work through the user guide, um, uh, work me through all the menus and the settings on the equalizer. And as I said before, my next video about this uh, equalizer will be in German, as promised to Serhi. Uh, if you want to see more about this thing in English, please check uh, his channel. I will link it down in the description. And that's it for today, folks. Thanks for watching. 73. Have fun. Bye-bye.